Bonjour, hello. <laughs> hello, I'm Emmy Lou. We're going to do a squirrel today. Wanted to show you my frog. So cute. I turned it into a greeting card. It's my little froggy friend. He's lovely. It's got a little thing on the back. And I thought I'd show you my very chunky monkey, Robin. Quite like him. It's quite cool. So we're going to do a squirrel today, which has nothing to do with a frog or a robin, but I thought I'd show you my pictures because it's quite nice for you to see what I've been up to. So we need paper, pencil, and we're gonna start. So this is quite easy, well, let's just say, it, I think it's quite easy, it should be okay. Basically don't worry if it goes a bit wrong, it's fine. Okay, let's go. So here we want a shape, a bit like, an egg. Everything's like an egg really when you draw it or um, a jelly bean. Oh, yum, yum. So uh, it's like an egg. Yeah, an egg shape. So an egg shape there and then you're going to do this. You're going to touch the egg shape just there. So just touch it there and you're gonna go like that. So just a little line. I'm sure I did a squirrel before. I don't know. Maybe I did something like a squirrel. I did a squirrel for someone, <laughs> can't remember whether, whether I did it or not. And then we want an ear, so you're going to do an ear about here and then do a little line on the ear and then on the back so background do a little ear because it's smaller because it's further away. Now we want the face to look more like a face and not a baked bean or a jelly bean so we're going to touch about there where the ear is and you're going to chop a little bit off. Then. You're going to touch about there and you're going to go in. So can you see that I'm making the face look more like a... Oh no, I've just lost my... <laughs> just lost my lid! <laughs> We're going to make the face look more like a face, basically. So, what we want to do is get the rubber. Get your rubber and you're going to rub out this now because you do not need that anymore no more goodbye line okay oh do you know what you could do this line as well rub out inside the ear okay see already you look kind of cool maybe it was a kangaroo that i did that reminds me of a squirrel because it does look a little bit like a um, kangaroo Oh, I don't know why, but my lid won't fit. Right, let's go. Now we want to do the cute little nose that he's got. So it's almost like a the, and then you want a little mouth. Then, massive eye. I like doing a big eye, because he looks friendly then. I'm going to do a little bobbly bit in there. He looks a little bit tired, doesn't he? I'm just thinking, we could do that, I guess cartoon little eye if you like. It's up to you. It doesn't matter. Let's just do an eye that looks cool. I might rub um, colour inside there just so you can see the light. Okay, that looks slightly more realistic, doesn't it? Okay, let's go. Let's go then. Right, so now we want to do this. Touch this bit here. You don't want it to be pointy, so you've got to make it rounded and you're going to do a big round bit there. So think if it's pointy, just make it a bit more rounded and you can do a shape like that. So it's the back, because he always sits down like that. And then just from here, about there, so use your eyes to help you. Just do a line down like that. Then what we want to do is he's got this awesome tail, like it's such a cool tail. So where we did the start, you know where we went, wee! Just move over a little bit and you want to go like this big round then make it so it goes Whoa. if that's really hard think about round like a rainbow then as soon as you get to about there which lines up with the back just go pointy and then wee, and then stop if you feels uh, okay if it feels tricky stop and then round we go so just give it a go and i'm just gonna kind of make that little roundy bit there because if i think about it it doesn't just stop it's kind of all rounded now i want to do this around it because if you think about it the tail isn't straight it's kind of furry 
So I'm just going to do some furry line, just like that. Okay, now the back still looks a bit strange. So what I'm going to do, because you want to make sure it's rounded as possible. So can you see I'm rubbing out that bit and I'm going to make it more roundy now. Right, while we wait for that to dry, I want to do the little legs. So just like that. So it's a little shape that goes like that. Then next to it, you've got another bit. So you're going to go, so you've got another bit, and then another bit. If you can't do that bit, you don't have to do it now. You can do it a bit later. So what I want to do is touch here, this space where his hand's going to go. So we're going to go, then next to that, you're going to go, then you're going to do his little fingers. Now, if that's really hard, don't worry, because it doesn't matter. As long as you've got, and he's probably got longer fingers as well, by the way. So don't worry, just a little arm. Just think a little arm. It doesn't matter how you do it, because when you colour it in, it'll look cool. And then where there's a gap, and even if there isn't a gap, just put in his hand. I kind of think it could be anything. It could be an apple, it could be an orange. I kind of like the idea of an apple, actually. Do you know what? I'm going to do an apple. Because oh, I do eat apples. It looks like a cherry now, but never mind. Okay, now the other side, you want him to look like he's holding it. So you're going to do these. And they're a little bit like, think of them as, um, think of them as Watsits. I had a packet of Watsits for breakfast today. Not that I would recommend that. It's very delicious, but then... Yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't good because then I needed to eat more food because it wasn't very healthy. Just going to do a little line there because that's his arm. His arm there. And then all we need to do now, really easy, is his feet. So go out and just go... Like they're, they're on a little log. So we're just going to go out to then just back like that. So there's his little leggies. <laughs> His little legs. And he's standing on a mountain or a little stone. So we'll just do that. Now what you can do, I can change that a little bit and just add it there. What you can do is rub out some stuff. So this bit, I'm going to join it up to make it nice and rounded now. Can you see the difference? It's a lot rounder. Now, I want to rub out the line where the head matches the, the body. Because he wouldn't really have a line there. You can do that. So you've still got a bit of a line, but you don't need to have all the line. Do you know what? Also with the tail, I'm going to rub out just a little bit. I quite like it. I think it looks nice to... Yeah, cool, cool. You know when you're happy with something and you think, oh yeah, I love it. Right, now to colour it in, I'm going to use chalk. What should I call him? Sydney the squirrel. That's what I'm calling him. So I'm going to do two different browns just because it's something a bit different. Squirrels can be red squirrels, grey squirrels, brown squirrels, it's whatever squirrel. You can have a pink squirrel or a purple squirrel, it's totally up to you. But I'm choosing these browns. <laughs> That's really big, isn't it? Okay, right. Darkest brown. I suppose I'll just outline him first. So darkest brown, which is my... What does it look like? It reminds me of fudge, that colour. So darkest brown, I'm going round him. I'm basically going round everything apart from the apple. Because unless the apple's brown, it would have gone off, wouldn't it? An, an apple that's going off. Ooh. Don't want to be eating that. Now, I could do this if I like. It doesn't have to be straight. If it's straight, it might look strange, if I'm honest, because it's furry, so you could do it jackety. Right, so that is literally it. Then I'm going to take my brown that's slightly different. So it doesn't matter how you do it. But I'm just going to kind of shade it in. A bit like I did with a koala bear, if you could see the koala. That was quite tricky for some, but it was brilliant. They came out so good. So good. Um, so I'm just doing I'm lining it on its side like that. So this is where the pastel normally gets held. But I'm lining it like that because it's easier to go over things. Do you know what? I kind of feel like I want to add a bit of grey. So I'm going to take this grey that looks a little bit like a blue almost. And I think I'm just going to add it here and there. I don't know why. I just suddenly thought, oh, quite nice. <laughs> okay. So I've coloured most of it in. 
and it doesn't matter if I've left a bit white, uh, left a bit white because I'm now going to smudge. And as you smudge, you'll see that he'll change colour in different parts of his body. And that looks really realistic. It looks really nice. Because a bit like your face, like if you look at my face, it's not all one colour if you really look at it. It's pink, it's a bit beigey colour. You know, if you look at your own face, you'll see that it's not just one colour. So it's nice to do the squirrel different colours if you can. I have a bluey purple squirrel. <laughs> Why not? So there's my squirrel. What I'd like to do is get a bit of white because their tummies are normally a bit lighter. So I'm going to get a bit of white, colour that there. It doesn't really show up very much if I'm honest. I wouldn't mind doing a little bit of white near his face. I quite like using white because it kind of brings everything together. Okay, then I keep running out of black, which is annoying because it's an awesome colour to use. Aha! Or you could do a dark brown even. Do you know what? I think a dark brown would be better because this one's brown anyway, isn't it? Can you see if I go round it here and there? Now you don't have to go around everything. Just go around, maybe go around the bits that look like it needs needs a bit more defining so if you need it to look like it has to stand out go around them i'll definitely go around the eye but you could do that with black if you like and it's really nice to put the shadow in there so i'm using my darkest chocolatey brown for this and you'll see as you go along especially if you've been doing all my videos as you go along you'll start to see what you like to add. So you'll think, hmm, quite like the way that looks. I'm going to add a bit of dark or I don't want that shade and I want to do the whole thing one. So I'm going to leave it up to you because it's really nice to experiment and know that you can't get it wrong because at the end of the day, it's your picture and you can choose how you want it to look. Now, I kind of want to do a green, he's on a green mountain kind of thing because I always do grey and I quite like green. I'm just going to do a little groove, smudge it in. Share, subscribe and like my video, please. So then you can let everyone know that you're drawing a squirrel. You can get them to do the squirrel as well. I like the idea of an apple being super light, which I don't have. Oh, oh, now I do. So my apple there is going to be like really light green. Oh. And the leaf can be a bit darker. Ta -da. And a stalk, let's do a brown stalk, shall we? Yeah, there we go. And my apple could have tone to it, which means it doesn't have to be one green. You could do a bit of green there. Ta -da. There we go. So there's my squirrel. Really like him. It was actually my mum's idea to do a squirrel. And then, um, Vivian mentioned it, so I thought, what a good idea. So yeah, enjoy your squirrel. What you could do with your squirrel is put a whole border of nuts, because they love they love nuts, don't they? Or you could colour it all blue. I'm sort of tempted, if I'm honest, to do a bit of blue. I do like adding blue. Do you know what? I've made an awesome purple, because I did a... Oh, do you know what? <laughs> I don't know why. I really feel to add purple for my background in paint. Um, I did this sunflower field with lots of students online and we did a lavender and sunflower and it was beautiful and I've got some paint left over so I'm gonna do it really messy around but it kind of looks funky love doing stuff like that so you can take watery paint any color you like and you could just go around it reminds me a little bit of graffiti but in a an artistic way so the people that do get commissioned, they get paid to do, do graffiti, do some really cool designs. So you could do yours, something like that would be really cool. And um, oh no, it's gone green. <laughs> you have fun doing that and let me know how you get on. I kind of want to sign it. <laughs> See, I can't stop now. I'm like, oh, I need to finish. Yeah, Emmy Lou, there we are. So sign it. 
and I shall see you tomorrow. I'm going to draw you a crab. I really want to draw you a crab because it's almost summer holiday time, isn't it? So I'm gonna draw you a crab and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.